Hello, Timothy. Hello, Jeffrey. And welcome to Tough Questions. A weird one today. The weirdest one we've had. We got to do it Zoom because we have so many games this week at the studio that we had to tear down the studio. I just say the studio is busy and full. You know, the studio is torn down and on the way to be built back up, just like many of the people I have in my life, Jeffrey. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got no studio. Sometimes we can go to your apartment and do it, but Micah won't let us because she's sick once again. Micah is sick, and I don't want anyone coming over and catching what she has. Of course, that is bitch itis. So I don't want anyone to catch that. All right. And we were supposed to have a Zoom with guest Dale McPeak, but he is he's chickened out, I think. Harold in Chicago comedian Dale McPeak has. This is our not first Zoom that we could have done a, a non New Yorker. So we reach out to an old Chicago pal. Mm -hmm. And our only time we could have, the first time we've ever done this, and he, and he panics and drops the ball. I think he's still asleep personally, but. Why would he still be asleep at noon? At 12 30 in the afternoon. I don't know. I told him when we were doing it, he said he was in. I said, great. I sent him the link. I sent him a text that said, did you get the link? And then I made him, made that notify him anyways, and he has not, but responded. Let me see. No. Yeah, give it a check. Still no, no response? responses. No responses. He, he must have chickened out. Mm-hmm. And while we, while we were waiting, we watched. I wrote, a, I got a whole list of questions for him. Well, I don't know what to I tell wrote a bunch you. of questions. I know, I know you did. What am I going to well, do with these? I mean, of course, we're going to have to sell them for in the future, but maybe they'll be the mystery questions. People always want to know. The only one, the only way you'll ever be able to know what questions were written for Dale is if you buy the book. Yeah, <laughs> you have to buy the book. We will, we will be printing these off. Wouldn't that be a good idea? Uh, no. What? Put it. Is in it print. a good idea? Wait, oh, print your book out? Print it out. What do we go to? The, Make a bunch of to, copies. Go to Kinko's, just copy it and print out. No, oh, we'll find a publisher. Ah, Pendant. Yeah. Pendant Publishing from Seinfeld. Or yeah, well, we can try, uh, what's the Penguin? Penguin Publishing from Seinfeld. It's called just Penguin Publishing, I think. Is it just called Penguin Publishing? Yeah, there's Smith uh, um, and Schuster. Is that, is that one? Should we start reaching out? Um, let me look up publishers. Let's wait till the whole book is full, though. We still have quite a few. We got a decent amount of empty pages. Once book. it's full, we'll reach out to Penguin. All right. Dearest Penguin. We, can we have a notebook that you cannot read. I Simon will have to come and, and decipher it. Simon yes. And Schuster? Yes. yes. I'll have to come decipher it. Um, dearest Penguin, I have stumbled upon a tome of questions. You got to call it like a tome or some shit. Oh, that's good. It has about two semi-famous comedians <laughs> in it. <laughs> And a bunch of fucking duds. <laughs> <laughs> it really, it's really a study on people that have never made it. It's a real who's who on who's Asian in the New York comedy scene. What do you mean who's Asian? Well, because we all our best guests are Asian. Oh yeah. yeah. Except for Steve Malden, of course, who was heralded as best non-Asian guest. Oh yeah, Steve did great. Steve I even is, tried to like re catch that flame with Dale. Steve's perfect for this show because he he takes everything so seriously. Yeah, well, and I also like Kay, I wrote some of the questions for Dale in a Steve sense as well. Some fun, not too edgy or mean, but just really trying to get to the you know what makes him tick. Yeah, and I think Dale might have be worried that he doesn't want to give you too much ammunition. Why doesn't he want to let me know what makes him tick? Well, not many people do, Jeff, because you can weaponize that kind of stuff in a way I that's hurtful to them. I do not know. Jeff, one day you said to me, I this? don't know what hurts you, and it upsets me. <laughs> I got under your skin before. 
You've done it a couple times, but it's very <laughs> rare when it happens because you're it such a weasley piece of shit. It is hard to get under your skin. <laughs> so when I did do it, I was it was quite gratifying. <laughs> yeah, but I was re- I was raised by mean people. Yeah, yeah. So. so so like my uncle was mean, my dad is kind of mean, and so like I mean they're nice guys, you know, but they're like ball busters. So like growing up, you know, I was raised around a bunch of mean people, so it, it like kind of toughens your skin up. Yeah, so it's hard to get under that tough skin. Mm. But when you do, baby, oh, I'm man. like a freaking oh, it's turtle. So warm. I'm like a turtle. Once you break that shell, the delicious, delicious meat is inside. <laughs> and boy, was it delicious! Yeah. I think you threatened to hit me. <laughs> I mean, I have hit you before, <laughs> but that was only at beauty bar. That was good. That was good stuff. Remember so, when you asked Chris Daniels if he, you thought that you could, if he thought you could beat me up, and then he laughed at you? No, I don't remember that. Take me there. I don't remember it either. Chris came up to me laughing. He goes, Jeff asked, oh, no, you asked if you and Asmus together could beat me up. And Chris said he doubled over to laughing, thinking it was very funny. Oh, me paired with Asmus? Yeah. Yeah, right. I'd throw Asmus, I'd throw Asmus into your fist first, uh-huh. you know, so he'd catch it. And then I'd try to get around that and get you. Oh, shit. What? Dale said, sorry, give me 10 minutes. My girl, my laptop is at my girl's place. And we got into it last night. Oh, Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. So we'll just keep going until he gets in, I guess. Well, I'm going to say we started recording. We can just, we can do it another time. Well, we can just let him just do that. Okay. Who cares? He made his bed. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see if he pops on. Um, if he doesn't, if I don't get. A, if I don't get, a, I'll even. Do, I'll just do like maybe half of them if I have to. Yeah. Okay. No. No, we're gonna make him go over <laughs> there and get that laptop. Uh, I just sent. I just sent this a response. That's, I sent a response that says, "Oh, geez." Yeah. A half well, better... hour. He's a half hour late, and that's what he sends. <laughs> He's no, he doesn't get to late. do it another time. He's now a half hour late, up. and he has to go to his girl's house, and they got into it last night. Over what? I have no idea. Jeez, Louise. Well, that's going to be the first question. What did you get into it about? What did you get into it about? And he's probably going to be like, dude, I don't know what fucking bitch. I'll fucking do one fucking thing to this bitch and he gets fucking so fucking mad at me. <laughs> probably something like that. Yeah, that might be it. Um, so anyways, Jeff, uh, let's fill some time. Then we've got a little time to kill till Dale tries to patch things up with his girl and get his laptop back in a, what I can only assume is a national treasures esque caper. Why would he leave his laptop over there? Well, he got into it and he probably got super freaking mad and totally forgot. And just storms off. Why was his laptop over there? I have no idea. The, I, they were probably watching. Oh, they were what? probably watching pornography together. No, I doubt it. They were oh. probably in bed watching Netflix on a laptop like poor people. <laughs> yeah, that's sad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeff, you were recently, I heard you got, and I, I hate to set you up Byron Allen style, but I heard you got a little in a little trouble on your latest cruise. <laughs> you know what? Funny you should ask. Yeah. I uh I, I sure did there, Tim. I heard well, actually I, no, I didn't I heard you trouble. were a freaking menace to the whole entire boat. I was just causing a storm because I deserve to be treated better. I heard you went Karen mode. I did. I just you know what? Because that you get on and let everyone know what happened. Let everyone know what happened. All right. Well, it's these it's these freaking these Italians. Yes. It's a lot of these freaking Italians. Because all of the um oh Barkiri is coming. He's coming on? Yeah. This right, is going to be a wild one. Th- this has turned from no guest into an insane episode. Two guests. Wow. Holy smokes. Well. We can get our curious take on what happened with Dale and his girl. That's true. I'll, uh, well, let me just tell you the quick abridged version. I All get right. on the boat with my luggage, you know, 
People are getting off. It's Aruba. I get on in the middle of the cruise. Mm -hmm. So I get on and I see there's an elevator open. I go, oh, sick. Elevator's open. So I run and get on that thing real quick. And then some Italian captain guy, you know, those little stupid stripes and his he's stars. Got his, he's got his stripes, his stars. His he little was on the elevator. And he gets on the elevator with me. He goes, crew cannot use guest elevators. Whoa. And I'm a guest entertainer, so I can. I'm part guest. You're a guest entertainer so guest is first i'm a half and half and how a lot did of these know you were don't crew know to begin with because of your out of luggage uh so he gets on and we're going up together awkwardly in an elevator he's and like, he's crew too then right but but he's like he, captain crew i don't know uh they're all italian guys every one of the captain people are italian dudes here's the thing about italians they either don't follow the rules at all mafia style mm -hmm. or they enforce the rules too much Mm-hmm. Stickler. See, let's see. Does that give it a thumb? I don't know no. how to make those emojis. I don't know why those emojis pop up, but go ahead. Go ahead. Popped up either. Anyway, so I uh so he's like, You can't take this. And I was like, I'm guest entertainer, I'm part guest. And then he's like, Oh, well, you can't use this. And I was like, No, I can. He goes, Well, just go straight to IMAX. He thought I was an IMAX employee. If they think you're like a low-level employee, they treat you like garbage. What's an and I was like, I'm the comedian. He IMAX goes, oh. employee, like you run the theater? Like I run the theater, it's an IMAX theater on a boat. Cool. Yeah. Were they showing um, twisters? No, they were showing a Quiet Place prequel. Did you see um, it? No, I did not. So I'm like, I was like, I'm the comedian. And he goes, oh. And then it gets, and then the door opens. I go, hmm. And I make that noise and I walk Whoa, off. Whoa, Jeff, you, you hmmed <clears throat> him? I hmmed him because it was wow. ridiculous. And then the next day I get That's off the That's straight Karen mode. Yeah, well, I get off the next day at the next stop. It's uh, Curacao Island. Uh -huh. And I buy a couple mini rum bottles for Chelsea and her sister as a gift. Yes. And then I get on board. Generous man. Anyone who knows anything about you knows you're a generous man. I'm very generous. And I get on, and then the security guy is like, crew can't have liquor. This is going to be destroyed. And he takes it from me. And I'm like, destroyed. I'm guest. I am. Can I speak to somebody higher up? I did that to him. Yeah. How did he know you were crew that time? I had my name tag on. Um... And then he goes, what's your ID? You are crew. And I was like, no, I am dip. Ooh, and I was like, all right, I'll just hold on to it. I'll be back. So I reach out to my agent. He reaches out to corporate. They message the wow. boat's HR department. And my uh, agent's like, what's the guy's name? I was like, I'm going to go back down there and get it. I walk down there and I go, I'm Whoa. sorry, what was your name? And I you... crane neck around to look at his name tag. I go, oh, Roy. All right. You go, can I have your name, sir? That's right. And then well, I, I need and to I speak back. with your manager, you said. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, then oh. they messaged me that they're going to hold on to the rum, and then they gave it to me when I get off the boat. There's a whole to do. I was throwing a fit. That's crazy. Yes. Well, look who it is. Oh, hello. It says connecting to audio. Hold on. He's coming oh. in. Oh, hello. look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our, our, our fill-in guest. Oh, that's a great way to introduce me as a <laughs> fill-in. That's how you start it. Our fill in guest. We couldn't get Dale McPeaks. We had to settle for Jeff Arcari. <laughs> uh, we were just learning, Jeff. We were just learning how Sheen went Karen mode on his latest cruise. Oh, you gave me a scoop, but I didn't hear the whole story. What, you, what did the security do? Which they were Indian, right? Yeah, it was an Indian guy. It was an Indian security. Are the Indian security guys, Jeff, are they, uh, are they more um, what, uh, strict? They, I uh, think, also stickers. <laughs> I don't know than the then other who? type than the other races. I guess I don't fuck <laughs> out. Actually, all the security on both are Indian. Do whatever you want, man. <laughs> yeah, well, no, no. It's the, the security on ship. It's always the same with cruise ships. It's always it's Indian security, Slavic casino, Filipino, Filipino cleaning, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and then and then it switches around a little bit. And then Italian but, captain guys. Oh yeah, it's always in the white. Always walking around <laughs> eating spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> Just so, down in some noodles, baby. The guy was going to confiscate my rum and destroy it. Uh huh. And then that's so why I was telling Jeff I had to reach out to my agent. He reached out to corporate. They had to reach out to the boat. I took the guy's name. I sent that in. Wait, what did he do to you? I was getting on the boat with little bottles of rum to, for as a gift for Chelsea. And the guy took it. He's like, this is going to be destroyed. No liquor for crew. Yeah. You can only have beer or wine. 
Yeah, that's that's the thing. You can't like have bottles because of all the people. Well, I'm special. <laughs> yes. Did you not know this about Sheen? He's special. So you were you were allowed to do it though. You were you're allowed to. I threw I threw a little fit. And the uh, corporate people that book these things are like, oh. and then my agent was like, well, you want your entertainers happy, so I'll take care of this. And I got my, my rum back. Here's my impression of you Sheen. you even drink. That's the beauty of it. I, Here's I, my, I was like, this is crazy. Here's my impression of Sheen throwing a fit. <laughs> no. <laughs> texting no. a bunch of different people. I did the, uh, I got the guy's name. I, I crane necked on his name tag. Yeah. What's your <laughs> name? I did that. Wow. Right I've, never, I've never seen you get in a confrontation in my life, except for when you used to blackout drinking. Oh, yeah. Well, now it's starting to seep into my real... My blackout Jeff is becoming the real Jeff. Oh, no. <laughs> you, were too, you were too close to the rum. Yeah. yeah I was feeling <laughs> it again. It was, it was giving like, me courage. It was like freaking osmosis. <laughs> uh, well, Jeff, do you want to answer some of Dale's questions since we have you? Sure. Oh, you're answering some Dale's tough question. You yeah, want to show Dale's. off your new tattoo to the people? I got a new tattoo. Oh, yeah, let's see. Look yeah. at that. Oh, whoa. A beautiful rose. Is that over your other tattoo that you had? No. Oh, that one oh, oh, oh. Is that? I got the heart over here. Whoa. Oh, okay. Is that because you're dating a bachelorette? No, it's not. <laughs> I, I got I got enough flames on the internet for that. <laughs> oh, is that what it's people on, is that what people on the net were saying? On yeah, the and then Katie put on her story like, "Oh, it's final rose." And I'm like, "Don't <laughs> make it worse." <laughs> the final rose. Damn. I, it's not what I did it for. I did it because the guy specializes in roses, and I always wanted one on my forearm, something cool, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get more and more. I'm gonna get like over here, and then more roses. It'll be tough. No, I'm not getting more roses. Are you going to get different kinds of flowers? No, I'm just going to get different stuff. Oh, okay. Do a bunch of different flowers. Yes, be the flower man. Yeah. No, your tone tells me that you're teasing me right now. <laughs> you can be like the flower boy. Yes. I'm the flower boy? <laughs> like, come here and smell my arm. Ugh. What? It's coming from hey, Sheen, tell our Curie what tattoo you think is cool. What do you? He was what? telling me this before we started recording. Oh yeah, what do you think of uh -oh. this? This is a conversation. You know those guys. You know the people that get like the spider webs on their elbows. Yeah. Think about this. In a butthole. You know. Oh. So it's like a little balloon knot, but you can't tell from the side. You just see the lines. So you're like, oh, it's like a crazy spider web. <laughs> then you go. It's an anus. You can't tell because you because you can't tell from the side because of the lines. <laughs> yeah. You just see the lines going like the puckering. Yeah, yeah, it's a pucker right on the tip, and you go, "Oh, that's a butthole." But from uh, the side, you can't tell. And then you start growing skin tags. You call them your little hemorrhoids. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, this is uh, that's a better idea. I should have done that. <laughs> if somebody gives you a hard time, you go yeah. kiss my ass. Oh, no, Jeff. No. <laughs> Wrong again, Bozo. That's no good. <laughs> All right. Like, like my own asshole? <laughs> yeah. Me, you want to eat my butt? Oh, God. <laughs> I'd have to rub it against Jeff's flowers to make it smell better. This is the kind of humor that walked uh, that family. Oh, sure, sure. Probably. You walked a family? On a cruise ship. Like a whole family left, left during a PG show? No, it was a dirty show. But it was like they were adult kids. Yeah, yeah, they were adult kids. But you could tell, like, oh, there's probably like some 18 year old sitting with his mom and dad, and I'm up there being like, pornography is a good time, you know? And his dad's like, get out of here. Yeah, I love that bit. I love that bit. <laughs> well, that pornography is a good time. Oh, yeah. it's a good time. Actually, do you want to hear what the bit was? I was I was mid riff. Oh, oh my yeah. God. This guy's so proud of his bit. He's got to tell us. I was riffing, but the, I thought it was pretty good. I was talking about uh, it was pornography. We had somehow gotten onto that topic. Oh yeah, somehow yeah, you somehow. directed it somehow. that way. I don't know how. But I go, uh, I go. The best pornography is cartoon porn. You know, because yeah. it's like a, uh, it's like cage-free chickens. You know, nobody gets hurt making it, but you still get yeah, like, the same true. stuff, huh? You know, you're just putting a Japanese artist to work. <laughs> Oh, okay. I know what kind of cartoons you watch. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> do you remember you remember when you did our old podcast uh jeff sheen uh came on our old my old podcast that i did with uh now deceased producer dave metz and god damn where we would talk about <laughs> and of uh, and still alive joe mcmahon where we would talk about porno and then at the end of the episode uh we would have the person show their favorite porno on the thing. And Jeff showed us a porno of a dragon having sex with a woman cartoon style. And <laughs> it cuts the woman in half, basically where you can see the inside of her body and the dragon's penis going into her <laughs> organs. And then it's ejaculates. And then Dave Metz vomited in my trash. <laughs> you guys see me? Yeah, what's up? And now we're here with Dale McPeak. Dale is Dale. Dale. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. How are, how are we doing? We're doing well. We got hey, our buddy. gear to fill in for you, but now that you're here, we can all have a nice time. Oh, we can all have a good time. Yeah, I, I think I got a little more uh, juice going on in the game than our Curie right now. <laughs> uh, Dale... <laughs> Uh, we're happy to have you. We're glad that you <laughs> got up, your Jeff? computer back. What's up, man? I, I, I didn't get my computer back. I'm at my mother's house right now in her guest room. Uh, um, my computer is still in Humble Park. Oh, at no. A, at an evil lady's house. But you know what? We keep on keeping on, dude. What happened, Dale? Why'd you leave your laptop there? I we I don't want to. We shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, I said a, I had a, I had a doctor thing yesterday, and I said a joke in the car, and she didn't like it, and it like built up the whole night. Ah, uh, what was the joke? joke to, what was the joke? That I put, <laughs> yeah. that I put cologne on before I went to the doctor just so like he didn't think I was a total piece of shit, you know? Oh. And uh, it didn't land, and it didn't land here, so maybe she was right. <laughs> I liked it. Uh-huh. I liked that you're trying to get your doctor to have sex with you. It's cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how are you guys? Doing well, Dale. Okay. Uh, well, Jeff, do you want to get into it? Our Curie, now you can pipe in with me and be funny on the pod while Dale answers his tough questions if you'd like. Sounds good. Dude. Yeah, or I've you can dre- answer I, some of these questions. I've been dreading this all day. I guess. Oh, all no. Yesterday. <laughs> all right. Just Dale, the thought of Jeff question. Sheen writing down questions to ask me scares the shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> If it helps you make yeah. you feel any better, everything you wrote down was spelled incorrectly. <laughs> I oh, believe it. It's true. You. It's fucking illegible. Uh, yeah, Dale, spell, that. First... spell that, Jeff. Spell illegible. Spell illegible. <laughs> I-L-E-D. Did you say E-D? I-L-E-D is how he started illegible. What? E-L, wait, I... Whatever, Dale, first question. There's two L's, dude. There's at least two L's. And there's there's no D. Uh, Dale, yeah, first no. question. Mm-hmm. Whose friendship means the most to you and why? Uh, Bobby Condon. Oh, I love it. Why? I, I think he's one of a kind, you know? We can, we can find another one of you. <laughs> you can't find another Bobby. You can find another Weasley Snake? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> Because he's one of a kind. Yeah, he's a. You know, you've met him. Oh, all right. That's a pretty good answer, huh? That was pretty good. You answered it right yeah, off the gate. Yeah, yeah. Curie, do, you, do you have an answer? No, this is Dale's question. You got to answer the question. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. I I think his would be you. No. Who else would it be? <laughs> why would it? But okay, then our Curie, why would Sheen be your most important friend or whatever he asked? Because he does it's, nothing for uh, nobody ever. <laughs> What's the next question? What's the next? One? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, you have a wild and out, Mike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was about to say the same thing. I got a while, I got a bunch of these because Micah used to work for um, MTV or oh. Comedy Central or whatever. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I bet she whispered around that set. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not in on that joke. I don't know what you guys talk about. <laughs> That's a joke. She was a big, okay. big whore over. There. Oh yeah. Oh, How do you think we got oh, these? Man. 
The Canada yeah. didn't get her pregnant. Thank God, no. Good, good. What do you, Jeff? Is that hey, your, what was your biggest heartbreak? Set? All right. <laughs> and how does that affect you today? Uh, <laughs> you know what, dude? I don't know. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, there's a few of them. Yeah, I biggest think that, one. Uh, don't do that. Uh, <laughs> I think they all hurt equally in a different way. You know, because yeah. they all, they all, they take a certain piece of you with them when they go. You know, uh, uh, don't do it, Joe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's waiting to. He's itching over there. Uh, biggest one. Uh, oh man, I wish it was one that you've never met. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> you could, to be honest with you. Yeah, you couldn't tell. All right, let's just say you got it in your head. How does that affect you today? Well, I'm in my mother's guest room taking uh, antidepressants. So, you know, that may, might have something to do with it. Oh, still got a big yeah. wound. You got a big wound. We all oh. got a big wound. Yeah. Oh, okay. From that big heart, heartbreak there. You know, my biggest heartbreak? Yeah. Was when the industry turned its back on me. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Um, all right, Dale. What gets you out of bed in the morning? <laughs> um, you know, just the drive. The, the drive. The drive to keep it on going. Yeah, the just the general drive. <laughs> Some days I don't get up, so I I don't know. Um. Uh, yeah, you really you're really coming in hot, huh? <laughs> these aren't these aren't that bad compared to some of them. These aren't too terrible, really. Ask me my favorite episode of Prison Break. Jesus oh. Christ! <laughs> so it's it's when they your, escape. Oh yeah, yeah that's a like good the, one. Just your general drive. Drive to do what there, Dale? You know, just to you know, live the fullest life you can live. You know, um, my cat, my cat gets me up. You know. I got, yeah, got somebody's got to feed that. Somebody's got to feed, free, feed Franklin, you know. Somebody's okay. got to feed the cat that a girl got me and then left me with. Somebody's got to feed that thing. Oh, is that, <laughs> is that connected to that big heartbreak? Uh, you ever, you ever <laughs> been in bed with your cat and go, "Mommy left us." You guys ever do that? <laughs> yeah, I do it sometimes <laughs> when Mike is just out for like an hour. <laughs> Um, Our curry, uh, what gets you going in the morning? Oh man, yeah, what gets you out of bed in the morning? Uh, I don't know. Trying to answer honestly, mm -hmm. I don't know. Like a like so, having you know having a plan for that day, you know, like an order of order of events I want to tackle. Yeah, you know? it's not really a fun answer. I'm sorry, yeah, I wasn't expecting to. Uh, no, you're all oh, right. No, this, these are great. This show is about honesty. And being your truest self. You know what gets me out of bed in the morning? A cup of coffee. I'll tell you that much. Make it, oh, make it oh, a, yeah. like a nice, I'm I'm make a nice, nice cup of coffee. I can still hear you. I want to get some coffee. <laughs> Hell yeah. You have stairs in your apartment? Oh, yeah. yeah. That stairs. Yeah. It takes, it, it takes, it, to a whole, it takes it to a whole other house. <laughs> he made sure to put the laptop right in front of the stairs, too. I got no, it's where my kitchen counter is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, his kitchen's got a counter. Nowhere else to go. <laughs> Micah oh, I said that table I made. Micah got <laughs> us stairs for my apartment, Dale. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm not pointed at him. I'm not a show-off, but... That's oh, great. You, oh, you, got a, you got contrasting walls over there, Tim. Yeah, I put up the... I put up the uh, whatever I like over it. there. Thanks. All right, like Dale. Or Kira, you can Jeez. also answer this one. Okay. Uh, you go Dale first. Dale, what's your favorite childhood memory? Take me there. Uh, I, I I don't know. I maybe I I got to think about that. All right, here you <laughs> got one while Dale thinks. Dale is a man. I just who love. Oh, go ahead, Art Curie. No, I mean you're going to say something that's timely. No, no, I'm saying Dale. Dale's a man. When we were driving, uh, one day goes. You ever have to go to McDonald's and order for yourself at seven years old? And I was like, <laughs> no. 
<laughs> so that, I, it, it may whoa. take him a minute to come up with a good childhood memory. Was that you? I was with that right. day when I got you were mine. driving to the cemetery? Yeah. <laughs> right, what, yeah. What's yours, Jeff? Yeah. Um, going to McDonald's with my entire family. <laughs> uh, you know that hurts, Dale. I'm sorry. I had to do it. When no, I was a we kid, I used to... work. <laughs> yeah, you have a real family. When I was a kid, I called McDonald's Playland the park. Mm-hmm. You ever do that? No. Oh no, we didn't do that. What's oh, your favorite I... ch- favorite childhood memory, boys? Come on, give me one. I honestly, I can't. I like uh, of... car rides. I used to like the uh, long like road trips where we'd yeah. all like I'd go all the way to the back. My sisters would have the pilot seats, and my parents would be up front. Oh, where would yeah. you go? We drove from New York to Michigan. We did Florida once. What was Before your favorite cruise. one? The Florida one because I got to bring my friend Brandon. Oh, Brandon was there. And so let's go, yeah, Brandon. Got to bring a fan. He looks like you, actually. <laughs> Whoa, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, uh, my friend you still Brandon, in contact we went... with Brandon? No, I'm not. Unfortunately, oh, that's a bummer. I'm not. In, I'm not in kind of a lot of those guys, the Michigan guys. They all ended up working like skill trades and stuff. Oh, and you lost him. I lost him. They and didn't follow. They didn't follow those. their dreams, dude. They didn't follow their dreams. So I don't know what they're doing now. Who knows? They're gonna have families. That's a dream. You know, that's a dream for some people. You guys want kids? I think about that sometimes. It's like. A lot of my friends, they have, like, wives and kids and shit. And I, I got my cat because I want to do stand-up, you know? Mm-hmm. Just burning life, you know? Yeah. Well, you had a childhood, Dale. What was your favorite memory from it? I don't... I can't think of one, honestly. Like, you wanted... Well, no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. It was all hell. No, I, I just... I can't think of one that sticks out, you know? Just give I, me How about one. this? If I can think of one throughout the rest of the this, I'll I'll tell you. But I can't really think of one off the top of my head. All right, fine, fine. Dale, would you like I to know be a father? I, why or why not? Yeah, I think so. My so my bloodline lives on. You know, I think it's I think it's cute to like see like dad see their kid for the first time. You know, and hold them. It's like real yeah. beautiful. You know, I have a heart. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, deal. All right, oh. fine. It'll be nice, oh, nice to have somebody to somebody to go to McDonald's with, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can you can order take for to, him. Take to the park, you know. <laughs> yeah, take him to the park. <laughs> um, let's see, Dale. Which high school group did you belong to? Oh, I've always been um, curious. Or Kira, you can also answer. I went to high school here, and it was. It was mostly like Mexican kids, like Latin Kings and shit. So I, I guess like just the kids that smoked weed in the bathroom, mm. you know? Oh, you were uh, a weed smoking bathroom. You kid. were not a yeah, part there, of the Latin Kings. No, no, there, there wasn't really like a like a popular fucking like movie shit, you know, that I can think of. You were just smoking um, weed in the bathroom all the time. Chicago, there's a bunch of Chicago there's a bunch of preg- pregnant girls, huh? Okay, oh. dude. One time I was in class and I go, "There's more pregnant girls in here than white people." There's like three of them. Wow. <laughs> <Okay. Yeah. laughs> yeah. You know, dude, hey, there's a lot of you know the man's got girls, stats. Dude. Yeah, all right. I remember, I remember this girl going, "I'll beat your ass even though I'm pregnant." So <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Right. That's I'm a sure good childhood memory. Childhood memory. Childhood memory. Like... Yeah. I'm sure she's doing it. <laughs> She's doing great. Not working at Long John Silver right now. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Who knows? Our Kerry, um, what group were you in? I was in like a, uh, like not the full on dorks and not the cool kids. We were like the dorks that were trying to be cool, kind of. You know, like we were like smoking cigarettes <gasps> and stuff. Hell. And then once we moved, I was just friends with like just normal, just normal guys. Mm. I really didn't have like it was just like I'd like five six friends in high school that were just like and one of the guys like did mechanic stuff the other one liked golf the other one always tried to work out but he never got big i don't know why i remember that but, <laughs> he's trying to work out but never got uh, big <laughs> he never got big and every now and then he like show me his arms and it'd be these tiny little pipes and he'd be like we'll go sick i'm getting i'm like oh man oh buddy 
but it was just like we're it was just like normal outcast outcast ish guys that were trying to do cool shit. But it was no, we were never cool. We were never like getting laid, you know. Well, actually, no, my friends were. Did you play magic? No, 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 it wasn't that. But like the girls we'd hang out with were like gas station girls. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I've oh, never heard this term, show. gas station girls. You said it the last time I saw you. I've never heard gas station girls in my entire life. Yeah, their hair is wet. They like. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, sounds you, like you these know pregnant I mean? like, girls Dale went to school with. It sounds like my <laughs> yeah. fucking dream girl, dude. I love gas station <laughs> yes. girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen you post a few. <laughs> like the girls like, with the, <laughs> like the ones with the uh the, you post the uh the the mugshot baddies or whatever yeah 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 oh yeah yeah like where there's mugshots of hot women those are like gas station girls kind of oh hell yeah dude oh, that's, that's my baby that's yeah. my that's my bread <laughs> that's my bread and butter baby <laughs> um, <laughs> all right dale what do you want to experience before you die uh all right um, <laughs> I think I think I wanna I wanna I wanna swim with a dolphin. Whoa! Oh, oh that's sweet. <laughs> I see a, like a whale up close, you know. Oh, <laughs> in the high I seas. love that for you. <laughs> I can't tell if you're being genuine or not, dude. He is. He is. It's <laughs> it's odd. It's odd, but he's he actually his, is. He's got his gamer headphones on and shit. Oh, I love <laughs> a it. little he's a little villain in his lair. Swimming with dolphins. We oh. went to go see. We went to go. Why are see, you writing it down? We're recording it. Why, <laughs> yeah, why are you taking notes? Want to write that? <laughs> are you drawing it? No, I take little notes in my notebook. Sheen and oh. I. It's this diary, dude. Sheen and I, McMahon and Micah went to go see. Went whale watching one one morning. Yeah, you should come whale watching if you visit New York, Dale. Yeah, there's You'd whales there. Oh, there's, there's whales. whales. Yeah, they're over oh, by New Jersey. Cool. Yeah. Right, Gary, what would you like to do before you die? Anything? <laughs> I was thinking about like uh uh jumping out of a plane. What? Like a parachute uh-huh. parachuting or or jump bungee jumping. <gasps> Let's do it. I got a thrill. <laughs> I got a thrill of uh I did one of those slingshots last week and it was it was it felt so good. Like yeah. a ride where it shoots loins. you up? Yeah, slingshot where like you're you're taut and then all of a sudden it just like snaps and you fly up into the air and bounce around. Yeah, yeah. I did where one little, of those. Like that video where that little fat kid's falling out and he's like, help. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Yeah, that's going to be me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, like, I like to see Gene's face the moment he's about to jump out of a plane. That's when <laughs> we really get to know you. It'd be like this. Because we know the real Sheen, dude. <laughs> In that moment, he's about to jump out of a plane. <laughs> No it's emotion at all. More, is it? Mm. Well, Dale, I hope you get your dolphins, Jeff. I hope you jump out of a plane. Uh, let's see here. What sin has the strongest hold on you? Ah, oh. Jesus. <laughs> what? What are the sins? Well, we've got the seven deadly, of course: sloth, rage. Oh, I'd pride. say gluttony. I'd say gluttony for sure. <laughs> 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 I got. I got to sit down and put my socks on. I'd say gluttony. (laughs) I didn't want to say gluttony first because I was trying not to be rude. It's it's all right. We're we're all watching the same movie, dude. I get it. (laughs) My man says gluttony. He's got a strong hold on. Oh, in our... What are they again? What is... uh, You got envy, lust, pride. Wrath. Uh, I think pride's a big one. Rides, Rides a big one. one, but I think gluttony outweighs it. I think we're, it, going, we're going gluttony. I think you're you country, got one? country mile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <coughs> Jeff's still thinking. He's trying to figure it out. Oh, uh, I think. I mean, I was going to think gluttony too, but <laughs> like you know, because I like it so. Oh, did you Smoking, have a snack like today? To eat. <laughs> it's not just food. It's yeah, just it can food. be. It can it's be like, anything. Oh, really? Like if, if yeah, you vibe like, too I, much in anything, maybe maybe uh, envy. I was gonna guess envy. Yeah, I if I had to say, yeah. God, God, you're so good. I sh- I wish I was like you. I knew it. Yeah, yeah. 
What, yeah, what's sure yours? What's it. yours, Sheen? Mine? Yeah. I'm in a rare feat, I guess I'll answer this one. Probably, <laughs> probably pride. And sloth. Sloth, too. Sloth is a struggle. Ooh. Sloth hits me, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, is, what is that? Laziness. Just- yeah, laziness, oh, yeah, yeah. procrastination. That's the that's my number one for sure. I feel yeah, like I feel like all of them have a hold on me. <laughs> <laughs> Tails being dragged to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am. Uh, uh, what the, I can't believe it. Uh, the guy's got a touch of sloth at twelve thirty. All right, let's see. <laughs> twelve thirty. Um, one thirty here, baby. It's um, two oh six by me. What fucking what? Where are you guys? Don't worry about it. <laughs> we, we, we. Uh, what's something, uh, Dale? What's something someone does that makes you think they're weak? Uh, ask for money online. Oh, oh wow, good answer. You know, go yes. or like create create GoFundMe's for shit that you can figure out on your own. You know. A soft fucking... GoFundMe. Like if you yeah, have to yeah. move to a different city to pursue your dreams, or just anything. Yeah, yeah. It's like, um, or, oh, I I got fired for fucking being gay, and so please send me Lost. money or something. Well, if they got fired well, for being lost. gay, they could have a nice little lawsuit on their hands. To be that's honest, lawsuit, <laughs> no, well, I mean that's what they say, you know. It's, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They got fired because you were fucking late every day. <laughs> you know, like, you fucking fucking show the receipts. You were late. You were also probably annoying to all of your uh, other coworkers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, mean, I bet they're. I bet they're all glad you're not there now. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Good answer, Dale. Or Kerry, you want to answer or no? What was it again? What's something someone does that makes you think they're weak? Oh, ooh. Oh, something yeah. someone does that makes you think they're weak. It's kind of like a family feud question. Bing! <laughs> Panhandle. There's no bings. There's no bings. I think they bing. <laughs> <laughs> they bing. Oh, if it's the right answer. If it's the right <laughs> yeah. answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I, somebody who's like, you know, like always putting other people down, you know? Yeah, right. All right. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like when you see somebody and they're always trying to give you, like, they're always trying to give you gossip or they're always trying to do that. It, and then you're just like, you're like, what, what, what's really going on? You know, are you okay? Uh, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, like, like every time I, there's a couple of people I know that every time I see them, God, I'll tell you who they are after. They're oh, always. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. They're always just like they're always like. There's always something negative to say about somebody else. You know. Oh, that's mm-hmm. a bummer. I always have yeah. gossip, but it's not always negative. Sometimes it's positive gossip. Ooh. Oh yeah. What's the, what what's is, some yeah, positive just gossip? To bring other people down. Okay. That's, All right. That's a good answer. Yeah, well, give, us, give give positive gossip, Tim. Uh, positive gossip. Uh, hold on. Yeah. Um, so I've heard recently one. Um, Ooh, actually, I don't that. have any good gossip. There's never any positive gossip. But give us the bad stuff. Like, well, sometimes you know people will be like, "Hey, I got this," but you can't tell anybody. I mean, I still fucking tell everybody. That's kind of gossip. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, you I remember one time, <laughs> but that's positive. I it's one like, time. I- <laughs> I, I, we were in Chicago, and I remember I told Sheen, "I go, oh my god, I go, can, if I tell you something, can you promise me you'll keep it a secret?" And he just went. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That was actually very nice of him to do. That's honest. Like that was, I was honest. Like, come on, I need to tell you this. He goes, All right, well, I'm gonna tell people then. And I'm like, well, <laughs> come on, man. That's what I do. I can't hold it. But like people will be like, blah blah blah, I got JFL this year, don't tell anyone, and then I'll go instantly somewhere and I'll be like, you know, I heard that da 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 and da 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 got you JFL, which is pretty cool for them, you know. Yeah. So that's like positive yeah. gossip because I don't say it in a way like, can you fucking believe it? I just spread the word. Um, Shut up, Micah. Yeah, but then you bounce your eyebrows. Yeah. Oh, can you believe? Yeah. Did you see who got this? Rolls his eyes. I don't, Dale, I don't like a JFL this year. This, year. this is your year, Dale. Uh, <laughs> Dale, what family member are you most like and how so? Uh, Probably my father. Because, uh, uh, we both have our vices, mm. you know. 
You got a lot of vice suits, you know? Oh, you got a vice daddy. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's dead now, but he had some. Oh. He had some. All right. I feel like that. Yeah. Like his dad, because you anything positive besides just his crippling <laughs> vices? I got his name. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was he was real sweet with the ladies. I feel like I am too a little bit. Oh, you know? okay. I'm a charmer. Not to not to build myself up. But, you know. A suave charmer. I bring the gas station girls home. There you go. You do have you have, you do have a big man's riz, Dale. Catch me on pump five, dude. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Arcuri, who are you most like? My dad, too. Probably. Because he's, uh, we both got ADHD. And he didn't know what it was until he was like in his 50s. But I figured, they figured it out when I was young. And then we just have the same, like, we, we, we say shit without thinking a lot of the time. And he gets more in trouble for it. I've kind of t- tuned mine for comedy a little bit yeah but he would he said he said some shit like he, he's made people cry at accident like oh what 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 like a lot of that <laughs> i love one time he told my that goddaughter so like, much. that Sa- santa was skipping his her house he's like hey you better leave santa skip your house like that and she started crying he's like oh shit like i remember his oh shit face <laughs> Uh, he's done. He said he said a lot of things like off the cuff, and then he messes up. Like I literally, I remember when we got. I just introduced Katie to her and my dad, like to my parents, and he doesn't drink or anything. But like within, I would say four minutes, he was like Trump or Biden. And I was like Jesus Christ. Dude. I like that. That's cool. Yeah. Just puts her feet to the flame. And what'd she say? Uh, <laughs> yeah. She said Kamala Harris. She said Harris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She knew. <laughs> Let's go, girls. Trump or Biden. Um, Dale, what the, besides stand up, what would be your creative outlet? I don't, I don't think I really have one. Like, like drawing or something? Yeah. What else would you be? What would be your creative outlet if you weren't doing stand up? Oh, if I wasn't doing stand up, I'd probably learn how to play like. A uh, piano or something. Oh, piano! Keyboards. I bought a keyboard when I was a teenager. And I like tried to play it, but you know, you want to be in a like band? I... Oh, dude, who doesn't? Was John Popper a big influence who? on you, Dale? <laughs> John Popper. Yeah, yeah. Bar Rescue? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> from Blues Traveler. <laughs> John. Oh, Tapper. I don't know. Oh, oh, because no, I just saw a video of him for the first because he's fat guy, right? Yes, that's what I was I, doing. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dale, yeah, yeah. leave Dale alone. Yeah, uh, no, I never listened to them. Uh, I wouldn't have got that if I didn't see that video the other day. Did you watch the I harmonica video? Yep, yeah, you know it's a good saw. video. It's a good video. I, f- I uh, feel like we have very similar algorithms, <laughs> Dale. Probably yeah. do. So you want to do I, piano? You'd be a little pianist up there. I, I think I, I think I'd try to play like, the piano. Maybe. Oh, I who doesn't want to? Who doesn't want to be in a band? Oh, dude, who doesn't want to be in a band? You guys ever fantasize about that? Oh, you and a fedora. Like you're listening to a song. You're like, man, imagine if I made this song. And I, I always fantasize the being the lead singer. And then the girl I like was watching me perform this song. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've had that. I've had that before. <laughs> yeah. Like. Yeah. And then you play the. I can see you, you being like a song. harmonica guy. You start the song over, and you're like, "Yeah, watch this, baby. This is my new song." You pretend you're playing it for her. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? Was that just out of the blue, or was that part of the bit? No, that was just. I needed some. <laughs> For anyone listening, Dale just stopped and put chapstick on his damn lips. Seductively, too. Yeah. I would be the drummer. I've always wanted to be the drummer because I like smash and stuff. Oh, dude. Yeah, Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. I carry a probably piano because I know he plays piano. Oh, yeah. I do, but I used to play drums, and it's not. It's loud. It's so loud. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I do remember as a kid playing the drums. I remember it being like a feeling like a burden because it was just like you're just going to wake up the two houses on either side of you, including your own. 
It was yeah, like, a, it felt like a burden to practice. It's impossible to practice that. Unless you have like a garage. I think guitar and piano are the sexiest. Oh, okay. So which one are you going with? You think, if you're yeah. saying if I could pick up an instrument and play it fluently. Besides like, stand up, what's your creative outlet? Oh, the, I like I like piano. And then I guess that's it. Yeah, piano? that's it. I don't like to draw or nothing. I would draw. <laughs> yeah. I, I would draw, draw too. God, I've yeah, always I'm wanted to make draw. a cartoon. I could never draw. I don't know about you guys. Me and Tim can draw. Make a comic. I Maybe I will. I can't really draw that well, but I would like to. Um, Dale. Yes, sir. What is something you'd like to say to teenage Dale? <laughs> if you could, if you uh, could, if you could relay him a message, what do you tell uh, him, teen Dale? I don't know. Maybe go to class. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just go to class. That. That's not bad. What's that? An owl? What's an owl, dude? Look at yeah, that. Not bad. Ooh, let me draw something. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm trying to think. What? Uh, everyone draw something. Okay. <laughs> if I if everyone, I could if I could talk draw. if I could talk to teenage me, you know, I know what I'd say. I'd be like, listen, quit idolizing scumbags and actually do work. No one's gonna hand you anything. Oh, yeah. that's good. I'd say Ooh, I'd say uh, buy buy stock in um what what has been big Apple. Oh, get out of here! No silly answers. <laughs> Personal <laughs> growth only. <laughs> uh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, that's, that's, that's not fucking, bad. That's pretty fucking good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nice little this, bird. This gay motherfucking trolls birds, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at Jeff. He's gay. He draws nice birds. <laughs> I like that. Hold on. So you're just saying go to class, Dale? You're gonna give me you anything know, else? Uh easy, easy, Sheen. Come on, give it uh, to me. Um I I uh like none of it matters, you know. Oh god, he's still a team. What the what the <laughs> no I'm saying none of it matters. Like you like, you know, fucking what people think of you. Oh, there you go. You know? Nobody Over there. don't care. Took me a long time to realize that. Nobody, but, you know. What did you draw, Jeff? What? <laughs> oh, what he's just draw? writing down. I'm just writing down stuff. Here, I'll draw something for the, for the oh. next uh, question I asked Dale then. Um, <laughs> unless, Arkiri, you want to tell Teen Arkiri anything? Um, no. No, everything's great. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to fuck your mic up. went out. I you don't. Want, you want. You don't want to fuck it up. You guys hear me? Yeah. We can yeah, you're it. good. You don't want to be like okay. stay away from a a certain lady, maybe or something. No, no. I wouldn't talk to my team version of myself. Hell no. Yeah, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> you don't know how to draw birds. Uh, you know how to draw birds. Let's see. Yeah, what about? Stay away from women. Dale, what's the worst job you've ever had? Ah, uh, uh, man, I had a fucking lot of them. Uh, I worked. Uh, I drove a forklift for this plastic company, and we, we, we made these plastic bowls that had straws in, connected to the bowl for like cereal. Mm-hmm. And uh, the warehouse was so hot, and no one there spoke English except for me. And it, and like in the summer, it was like uh, it was third shift, and it was like 150 degrees inside. Brutal. And, uh, and it, yeah, yeah, it was pretty bad. The vending machines had cheeseburgers. It was it was a real bad time. Uh, like the cheeseburgers I, that you can microwave, like that you get it like in the yeah, freezer yeah. section. Yeah, I was like 22 or something like that. Yeah, that was uh, that was a driving pretty bad a, job. Driving a forklift, I used to drive a forklift. I liked that job, but when the warehouse gets really hot, it does fucking suck. Yeah, I've I've wrecked a couple forklifts, like, bad. Like, we're fucking... <laughs> <laughs> like, they had to fucking... Like, like, one of them, I think they just had to get rid of. Wow. Uh, they got stuck on the roof, or, like, the, the, the forks got stuck on the roof, and I kept moving backwards. Oh, It almost no. flipped the whole thing over. Yeah, it wasn't good. I um I've told this story I think on this pod before, but 
the forklift we used to have was battery powered and you used to have to because it's one of those big giant batteries that weighs like a thousand pounds but you have yeah. to you have to go and you have to pour water in the different cylinders of the battery to keep the battery hydrated and one day i was doing it and it shot battery acid all over me and I got battery acid all over my arms and all over my pants. And I cleaned all the battery acid off my arms and I didn't really get that burnt. But then I was going to take like a step up, like 20 minutes later to take a step up to grab something off a shelf. And my pants disintegrated like in the Avengers when Thanos snaps his fingers oh. and he just like turned to dust. My pants just turned to dust and fell onto the ground in a big pile. Oh, you get to go home. No, my dad made me put on other pants that we had there, but all that was left was my belt. And I was just in my underwear. It was like a cartoon. Oh, (laughs) that's what I would tell my teenage self. (laughs) I was at this place at this time and Tim's pants fall off. (laughs) (laughs) I was 25. (laughs) Oh, I'd have, right. to, I'd have had to be I, like a uh, teen Jeff. Come back here in two years. <laughs> yeah, I worked at a dog daycare. That was pretty awful. Oh yeah, that was pretty bad. That's yeah, right. that was, I was having to be now. there at seven a.m. with a hundred. Uh, <laughs> look how evil oh, Lucy is. Was that when you you <laughs> first moved here? You worked at the dog daycare. Yeah, yeah. I remember I got a job. <laughs> like I was trying to find a job, something flexible, flexible, and then I found a job. Uh, I got an interview for this like sales company and they were offering me, I think it was good. It was like starting at like 70 or 80 K, but the hours were like 10 to eight mm-hmm. every yeah. day. And I was like, I got the offer. I called my mom. And then the next job interview, I went on the same day. I went to a dog daycare and I was like, I want to work here. This is fun. And I called my mom. I'm like, I got the job. I, I took the job. She goes, all oh, the sales. I go, no, no dog daycare it's front desk. And, uh, it was good because the dogs, but it was awful because I had to be there at like 6, 7 a.m. I had to do some overnight shifts, and the overnights were the worst when I would have to clean the whole place by myself, and then there'd be mm-hmm. like dogs in kennels, so when you like walked by in the dark, you'd hear like, oh, and like you were like, it was, I don't know, it was kind of creepy, and all the lights were out. You want to come over here and watch my dog? Who just no. made that growling noise? Me. <laughs> that was a good growl. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> I remember I remember when I first moved here and we were living in the basement and you go um you go it's kind of cool living in New York cuz uh you can uh be like 30 to 40 minutes late to work and just blame it on the train. And I go yeah. I go oh that's pretty cool and I since never really used it cuz I'm, I'm so OCD I can't be late to anything. But anytime I'm like two, mi- think I'm going to be two minutes late. I'm like the train is running, and people are like, "Yeah, no problem. No one cares." Yeah, is the train that bad? You know they give you notes. They can give you notes like saying, "Hey, this train was late." You can ask the conductor if there was a delay, and they'll the give you a note, note to bring to they work. They give you a little note. Yeah, train yeah. Note conductor. Note. Really? Welcome Here's to the, the Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they have different colors for the different things that happen. You get a red one if they hit a guy. Oh God! Yeah, Jim. yeah. It's like it's like a, dead, a picture of a dead guy. I'm like, sorry, I was. Oh, oh no! <laughs> His <laughs> organs are all splashed everywhere. Yeah. Oh, Dale, what is the first thing you'd buy if you won a lottery? Uh fucking. Um, what are you gonna get? First thing you won the lottery, millions, maybe one, billions, maybe. Maybe, maybe one. Uh, probably, probably my mom' uh, house. Oh, I love that for her. Or a or a or a Hellcat, you know, one of the two. Damn, those Hellcats uh, are cool. Or a Cybertruck, dude. I saw a Cybertruck the other day. People are hating on them. They're fucking awesome. Yeah, you like the what Cybertruck? About, what do you like about it? Every it's so sleek. <laughs> I think the Cybertruck looks like shit. I saw one the other day too. <laughs> I think it's I think it's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm kind of with Dale. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that raccoons are like breaking into the back because they're mistaking them for dumpsters? Dumpster? (laughs) That's hilarious. (laughs) That's really funny. Uh, Yeah, yeah, there's a subreddit of like hate for the Cybertruck called Cyber Stuck. And it's all the uh, times that people are like taking video of them being stuck. And then there was that comic 
that has uh, somebody crashed into his house with a cyber truck and then they had it in like they had it towed out of there in like in like six minutes oh or some shit dave like, wait yeah it was dave wait and uh what's his name dave grant lyon grant, grant lyon a- yeah yeah this is my impression, Jeff. I don't know if you've heard this. This is my impression of Dave Waite doing a bit about the Cybertruck getting driven into his house. There we go. Why did they got to drive a Cybertruck? Wait, huh, come on. Hey, Cybertruck <laughs> drive into my house? Why can't it be some titties? Come on, drive some titties into my house. Oh, that's, that's good. That's, that's I like pretty that. good, Dave Waite. All right. That's good. Uh, Dale, what, uh, what's your general philosophy of life? Trying to think of something that Joe Dirt doesn't say. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got to keep on keeping on, brother. Uh, uh, life's a garden, dig it. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I I don't really have a. Ph- I don't have philosophies, dude. Why are you asking me this? Oh, shit? come on, Dale. I know there's a philosophy <laughs> of life in there. What well, is yours? Give me mine, an example. Mine is what to is stay mine? positive. I stay positive all of the time, even though everything's usually pretty fucked up and it's all my fault normally. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. all bad, dude. Tim's to stay positive. My philosophy would be... Uh, um, uh, let's see. Stay present while being content. Pretty good. You're just saying words, dude. Yeah, what does yeah that I, mean? I agree with Dale. What the fuck does that mean? No, no, I think it's pretty good. This <laughs> is fucking no, like no. dumb shit. No, no. I'm being content. I uh, I guess I don't have one, man. I honestly, I don't think about stuff like that. You just, just, all right, I'm going to write down. Uh, I know it seems like a cop out, but none. I don't think that I've ever I had a philosophy. No way you choose uh, to live your life. Aliens are real. I don't fucking know. What? That's true. Or Kira, you got anything? I would say, like, the the classic, like, do one to others. But whatever it is, I think it's like an old Jewish, uh, it's like an old Jewish saying, where it's like, do something for somebody, never expecting them to do it for you. You know? Like, you know, you ever stop stop yourself from being nice because you're like, oh, they wouldn't be nice to me. That's like the opposite uh, yeah. of this, this sentiment. Uh, it's like just do something with never expecting anything in return. Oh, did, did Jeff know the questions beforehand? No, no, he's he just didn't. Super no, I just you answer first. You have you answer would, first. I, so I have time to think. I would, you know what? I would say I'm a, as much as of a dickhead I am to my friends. Like I always try to be a nice person. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm sweet to people. Okay, sweet to people. Is that it? I'm sweet to people. I'll write that down. <laughs> I I don't like that Jeff's laughing at that, but I'm I'm a nice guy, dude. <laughs> no, it's the way he asked. The way he asked it, he's like, "Oh, I'm sweet to people." Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> oh, there's my drawing, by the way. Hey, that's not oh, bad. That's good. good. Oh yeah, he's like yeah. A Simpson character. Yeah, he's like a Simpson. Is that you? Style. Is that you? Maybe. Who knows? If I was on The Simpsons, um, I got like a couple more. Some... You need the eyes need to be bigger. Yeah, yeah. And the teeth, and there's no teeth. Where are the teeth? All right, Dale. What's your favorite sports memory? Uh when um, uh, who the fuck when the Bears were in the Super Bowl and uh, Devin Hester ran, ran, back, ran, ran back the touchdown, and we were, I was like, we got this in the bag, and then as you know, we did not. Uh yeah, who was it? The Colts. Then the Colts came and absolutely wrecked their <laughs> worlds, dude. It was the first play of the game. Devin Hester ran all the way back. It was nuts. It pretty much any or you know what? Anytime Otani hits a home run, I fucking get jacked because I win money. But Dale I, is, I love Dale I love is an Otani. honorary Japanese man. I am. Saku made me an honorary Japanese man. Um, you know, so it's nice. All right, it's okay. Uh, hey, when Hester ran you know, in for the touchdown. All did, right. Did you know? Did you know that the Japanese hate Koreans? Yes. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of uh, I, I didn't, contention. I didn't, over I didn't know that was a thing, dude. Oh yeah. Uh, I would ask you, Jeff this question, but it's about sports, so we'll move on. Um, <laughs> we're a Filipino <laughs> forward pod, Dale. He, he's wearing a Yankees hat. <laughs> oh yeah, he loves yeah. it. But what you all right? Oh. Fine. Fine. What's your favorite sports memory? Sports memory? Huh? The I went to the Subway Series World Series Game Five when the Yankees won at Shea Stadium. 
Oh, nice. year two thousand. It was right before things went to shit. Yeah, the year two thousand. It was it was the day of. My dad goes, "You want to go to uh, the World Series?" And I was like, "Are you serious?" And the, it, we were like, "We have to leave like right now." And I we went, you went and to the drove there. World Series, the Subway Series, World Series. So it was at Shea Stadium when the Yankees were playing. It was a Subway. Yeah, so the Yankees were playing the Mets. And it was the last game. The Yankees won at Shea. And it was the first time I saw a drunk guy. And I remember thinking, like, that doesn't look like that sucks. Like, he was just like wasted, you know? Yeah, mm. look, look at that monster. Yeah, <laughs> Did you and, learn uh, a lesson? He looks like Barney from The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I was, I saw that you were on the field at Yankee Stadium the other day, our curious, and yeah, very few things anymore make me jealous. But I turned to Mike and I go, This sports experience is wasted on him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I saw that I, same video and I was like, <laughs> This is what through, went through my head. I go, Is this motherfucker throwing the first pitch? <laughs> that's, a, that's a real thought I had. <laughs> yeah, no, Katie got us on the field, and then the guy, I have this. Oh, you gotta see this. Hold on. <laughs> it's, it's another rose tattoo. <laughs> Did you get a rose tattoo? Did you get a bobblehead? Oh, nice. A George, George Costanza yeah, bobblehead. No, it was dude, Seinfeld night, and so I got this. That's sick. That's he actually works for the Yankees. Who does? George works for the Yankees. Yeah. You yeah. don't even fucking know, dude. You don't deserve No, I know shit, Seinfeld. Dude. He works for the Yankees. I thought, I thought you meant George. I thought you meant like him himself. Uh, yeah, we actually, it was funny because I didn't know any of the, <laughs> it was funny. Uh, the guy comes up and she's like, he's more of the fan than me. And I'm like, oh, you're going to put this on me now. And the guy was like, oh, what's your favorite player? I'll have him come over and meet you. <laughs> and I go, Are you fucking you know, kidding me? And I go, I go, I, I love them all the same. <laughs> I love them all the same. Oh, man. You could have met Aaron Judge and you just go out. <laughs> he walked by me. Because there was an actor, uh, the actor that was there, I guess, was friends with him, and I found out his name uh, recently. But it's an actor in like a bunch of movies that you would, uh, um, you'd recognize him, but you wouldn't. And he was there. I'm like, he looks familiar. And he called over like the players, and they'd come over and hug him. And I was like, oh shit. And then he goes, hey AJ, hey AJ. And I yeah. was like, who's AJ? So I'm there googling who AJ on the Yankees is, and it was <laughs> Aaron <fucking> Judge. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we. <laughs> Uh, we went with my buddy. My buddy Andrew got us <laughs> third row seats behind home plate to the Yankees Mariners game, and I brought Micah. And it, Micah saw Aaron Judge go up to bat, and I swear to God, this bitch fucking slid out of her seat. I was like, <laughs> "Dear God!" She goes, "Who's that guy? Why is he so big? I like him." I go, "Look dude, at the ground." He hit the genetic lottery. Dude. I that know, fucking guy. He's How like big is he in five. person, Arcuri? Yeah. Oh, he's huge. Yeah, what's he's he like. Smell like. Yeah, what's he smell like? What's he smell like? <laughs> I got yeah. real close to him. It was oh, crazy. Yeah? He's huge. Yeah, was he like five nine? <laughs> <laughs> classic. Uh, a couple more, Dave. He's saying classic to his own <laughs> shit. It's a Dave, My name's Dave. Dale, not Dave. I know it's a Dave. <laughs> 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 What's something about women that uh, you have a hard time understanding? Why they, they want to hurt me? you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why, why they don't stay with me. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> what's, what's, what's that to love? Oh. Um, what is uh, something about them I have a hard time understanding? That's such a weird question. Isn't it, though? Uh, yeah, this is, it seems like I'm being set up for failure. Uh I, I man, I don't know. I you got nothing. You understand why, everything. Why? Why can't? Why she won't give me my laptop back? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I, what, what? What would? What would be? Like you want a little help? Yeah, I guess I will say. Um, you know what? I have a. With Chelsea, at least. So I guess this is, but it would be uh, the need for Chelsea. so much conversation. Uh, okay. I can't, yeah. I can't keep it up. I get so exhausted yeah. from talking, I lose it. And then she just wants to keep, and I just go, "Why do you want to? What, what do you want to talk about anymore?" 
She sees maybe, you doing maybe. this pod and she gets all fucking pissed that you're not talking to her. She does get jealous. She does. I'll do the pod. I'm like, I just talked so much today. I can't. I run out of words. <laughs> She's like, you can talk to them. You can talk to me. I'm like, I, I have a limited amount of words I could say. I think uh, I think that <laughs> why they would like to go to bed at the same time. Uh, that's a, Okay. That's a good uh, one. That's funny. Yeah. That is funny. You know? That is, yeah, oh, that yeah. is a strange, yeah, I never understand that one. Like, let me fucking play Fortnite. Leave me alone. <laughs> I hear you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Let the boys game, damn. Let the man Fortnite. All right, bet nope. at No build, time. dude. All but, right. I mean, doing build is too hard. Yeah, build, build is so hard. hard, dude. Yeah. Akira, you got anything? Um, crazy. I don't know, maybe like, I don't know why height is so important. Oh yeah. Oh, why is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why why I got does one. It... <laughs> I, have a, I have a complaint. <laughs> yeah, why yeah, all these bitches why... why all these bitches are hanging on Aaron Judge and not me? Yeah. All I don't right, know why yeah. weight's so important, dude. Why is height so important <laughs> in weight yeah. and money and brains? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got all three of you. <laughs> I got everything. Oh, yeah, you've got it all. <laughs> We're like uh, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> That's right. And Jeff Arcuri wished to be tall that day. That's um, not that a was Wizard tall. of Oz. All along. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, last question, boys. We did it. Final question. Dale, you can go first. What stand-ups got you into comedy? Who are your guys? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he said, uh. I think Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Chris yeah, me Rock. And dad, me and my dad used to watch Chris Rock specials on HBO when I was a kid. That's probably my, that's probably my favorite childhood memory, too. So. Oh. Wow. Well, yeah. Look you at you. You want me to Dale. fill that in? Holy smoke, Just Dale. Giggling it, it up, dude. Giggling it up, just uh, massaging it all around, you know, fucking good time. Oh, watching <laughs> Chris. Uh, just laugh it up, me and my dad. Watching Chris Rock with his dad. Oh, that's a wonderful memory. Yeah, I think that's the only one that got me into stand up. Um, but there's other ones that I like admire, but he really cares. Yeah, we'll go Chris Rock. Akira, you got anyone? I remember starting out like. When I used to love watching stand up, like Premium Blend and like other Comedy Central presents, I remember loving. I had my Brian Regan tape stuck in my cassette player when I went to Six Flags once. So we listened to it the whole way there, the whole way back. I love Brian Regan. Mm-hmm. And then like Adam Ferrara, I listened to a lot. I watched his special like several times with my mom because it was like clean and funny. I like Brian Regan being silly. And then like what really made me like it uh, when I was why we watched, well, you know, when everyone was in Dane Cook? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was all the girls I hung out with when we all watched yeah, it, and I saw them like fawning after him. And I was like, "Oh, okay, that's pretty cool." Yeah. But then, <laughs> once my tastes matured, it was like I loved like watching Louie and Bill Burr. Oh, oh yeah. all right, good nice. stuff. All right, Dale, Ding, you did. Ding Cook, you did. What? It. What? What's my score? Let's see, you did Chris Rock, <laughs> you answered that. You answered pretty much everything pretty well. You did you, it. You you were scared, Dale, but I feel like you did a great job. I think you did great. Facing your fears of the Jeff Sheen. Yeah, swimming with yeah, dolphins. Yeah. Gotta hope you. We get. We gotta get you out there. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get him out there. With the man in the sea. All right, Dale. Dale, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you an eight and a half. Damn, uh, that's pretty good. Pretty that's good, pretty Dale. Good. You answered the like childhood it. one sent you over. You got yeah, there. well, that's, that's a, I mean, it's hard to unpack that, you know. Oh boy, isn't it? Ever. A lot of a lot of childhood, you know. Uh, oh, it's a whole length of time, Dale. Where can people find you? God huh? Damn it! <laughs> you you got to do your plugs. You got to do your plugs, Dale. <laughs> I don't have yeah. any fucking plugs, dude. Do your plugs, Dale. Do your little plugs. Plug it up. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't have plugs. <laughs> Where? What is your Instagram and shit, idiot? Oh, real cute dude. Yeah, follow uh, Dale at real cute dude. <laughs> real I, cute I, dude. Yeah, uh, I I got some shows coming up. Nothing special, you know. All right. Uh, nothing, nothing I care to, you know, brag about. 
All, all right. right. All right. Yeah. Arkiri, you got anything to do? Yeah, what Same do you got, Arkiri? You got anything coming up? <laughs> yeah. Not much. Uh, you can catch me on tour. <laughs> <laughs> Full Beans Full Tour up. is live now. We oh. still have tickets available for Beacon Theater in November. What's there you go. Full, Full Beans? Yeah, Full Beans Fall Tour. What the fuck is Full Beans? Mean? Yeah, I'll send you a link. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dale, good job outing yourself as not a fan, idiot. Yeah, Dale, <laughs> you screwed yourself. <laughs> Is that um, one of your jokes? Like sleeping with the fishes. Tim, I watched your set at the Vic. I don't remember seeing a full bean. No, it's from an uh, interaction, a video I had. Uh, a lady had full beans tattoo, and I said, I want like this one. What the heck? Like cool beans? Yeah, that's what I said. Like cool beans? And she's like, no, it's full beans. And then she's like, it's just when you'd want to do things full beans. She just kept saying it. You know, and then uh, it led I'm... to my frustration. And then some real <laughs> comedy unfolded after that. <laughs> and look at me, I'm laughing. Thing. <laughs> I, 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 Tim, let me get one of those mics, please. Uh, okay, I can send you. I could probably send you one of these. I think I got a bunch of them. Um, yeah, I, I, I think two picks. I, I, <laughs> uh, you, you can listen yeah, to the send, Great Hang podcast, idiots. So check out the Great Hang podcast with me and Micah Fox. If you want, you can listen to the Tough Questions Patreon at patreon.com slash tough questions where Jeff and I do an extra episode and the dogs are featured very heavily. And if you are in the Michigan Grand Rapids area, myself and Patreon subscriber Tom Takar will be at Dr. Grins. Oh, wow. So if you've had a hard time smiling, they have a doctor for that. So come on up August 22nd to the 24th. And then I will be at the Black Circle Brewing in Indianapolis on the 25th. Yeah, and I'm always at New York, Jeffrey. How, how, many, people, how, how many people listen to this? Thousands. <laughs>